city leaders say Orange Mound is nearing a point of no return, and they're hoping to bring a renaissance to the struggling community. Today, the Economic Empowerment Summit was held to discuss how to reshape and restore the historic neighborhood. Local 24 News reporter Jalen Socek was at the summit and reports local in Memphis. If we continue this legacy of Orange Mound, Tennessee, Everyone in this room hopes to see struggling and devalued historically black neighborhoods like Orange Mound return to their former glory. Shelby County Assessor Melvin Burgess says home values in the mountain sunk nearly 30% in the last decade. Vacant properties are lining streets despite being surrounded by thriving communities. The question is why are those homes continuing to go up in value but the homes in that little a little, a little zone is strictly devalued. So we just want to bring some equity to it and make sure that it, you know, it, it, it can survive because it's a great historic uh, neighborhood. The summit featuring dozens of local leaders is designed to open up a community conversation on what needs to be done. Shelby County Mayor Lee Harris says it's not an easy fix. It'll require having difficult conversations like the ones they're prepared to have in this room. The kinds of people that are looking to move are uh, young families and millennials. And so to a certain extent, we've got to make sure that we are attractive, that our communities are attractive to the people that are actually looking to move. This effort brought out community members like retired educator Calvin Lacey, who is eager to hear what he can do to help. I hope to find some ideas on how to develop the Orange Mound. How, what can we do to make it better? How can we improve it? Rather than piecemeal, we get a grocery store here, we may get a building here, there. What can we do as a unit? Burgess says while this conversation starts with Orange Mountain, it doesn't end there. We ought to start looking and say, hey, what can we do to help these inner city issues? And I think this is a good start. And hopefully we can take this model with everyone's help here in Shelby, Memphis and Shelby County and make this be a worldwide model. Leaders will compile notes on what they hear. And then the next step, Burgess says, is to create a task force to develop a step-by-step -step plan. He plans to announce that group at the next Shelby County Commission meeting. Jalen Socek, Local 24 News.